Okay, part five. Who the fuck did I marry? So, I'm questioning all this stuff in my head out loud on my audio diaries. And then once again, I'm like, but look at what you, well, look at what he's giving you. Like, he's paying, he, he, it wasn't a question about money. It was just a question of, are we really, are we really about to move into this house? And <clears throat> keep in mind, he's paying all the household bills. He still is. So we were supposed to close before Memorial Day. We didn't. There was an excuse. There was always an excuse with him. Always an excuse. And I didn't know enough about the process to question stuff because I really wasn't involved the way I should have been. And it was giving me a lot of anxiety. So I'm pregnant with a lot of anxiety. Um, and if push, if I'm going to be 100% honest with y'all, I was not expecting that I was probably going to have a healthy pregnancy because I was stressed. And what I was stressed about is I didn't know what was going on because I wasn't really involved the way that a normal relationship would be involved. Just being honest. Um, so we did not close around, we move now into June. This is now going into June. Around June 5th, I looked at the house again on Realtor.com. I don't know what made me do it other than, and I don't mean to sound super spiritual. I know that people are like, you know, you may or may not believe in God, but I'm telling you, I believe with all my heart, probably the Holy Spirit was like, look at that house on Realtor.com. So I looked at the house on Realtor.com. This was around June 5th. It showed that the house was off the market. And I remember being like, okay, wait, what, is, what does that mean? What, what does that mean? Because ex-husband is telling me we're about to close on the house. We're about to close. It's our house. We got furniture, da-da-da, da-da-da, da-da-da. Um, he's also telling me that he's been in contact with the realtor, his friend, who was telling him, you know, this is what was happening next. Here's what's going on. So the guy that we initially worked with apparently is completely out of the picture. But again, I was not heavily involved. So I'm just like, let me look at the house. I see it's off market. What the fuck does off market mean? Like now I'm really freaking out. So it shows the name of the real estate agent for the seller. I don't remember her name. I called her and I said, you know, my, <clears throat> I said, excuse me. I said, my husband and I, even though I wasn't married, my husband and I were looking at this house at one, two, three main street. And we really wanted to tour it, but now I'm showing it's off market. Is it not available or, you know, I, I pulled that card and she was like, Oh no, ma'am. Um, the home closed yesterday. It closed June 4th. Again, there are certain dates I just remember. Um, and I said, oh, it closed June 4th? I was like, really? <laughs> um, <clears throat> and she said, yes, ma'am. She was like, um, my, my sellers sold the house. And I was like, oh, man, okay. Well, I said, my husband and I really wanted, you know, we love the pictures of it. And we're getting ready to start a family. So I would have loved to have been able to, you know, have the opportunity to see it. I asked her something. I don't remember the specific question I asked her. And I don't even, I, I know why I asked the question. Because I was anticipating that my boyfriend at the time was going to have some sort of excuse. So I asked her something about the buyers. And I remember, I, and somehow... Again, forgive me, I don't remember the question I asked her. But the answer was that it was an older white couple. Older white couple. So I get off the phone with her. I record an audio diary. And in the audio diary, I specifically say, okay, there is no house. He's 
she's going to have to get out of this lie somehow. Because now I realize, at the very least, he was lying about um, him being the one who was under contract. I knew enough about that. So I was like, what, um, how was he going to get out of this? Again, I'm list I've listened to the audio diary in 2024. I literally said in that audio diary, how was he going to get out of this lie? And I was trying to think of ways on how he's going to do it. And something said to me, because I say it on the audio diary, I said, um, he's going to say it's a bad deal. And he's going to say he wants to pull out. Y'all keep in mind, I am pregnant. So I had a decision to make. As ugly as this decision was, I made the decision, you're about to have a baby with this man. He's paying all the household bills. Let him get out of the lie. And that's what I did. I purposely made the decision that I knew he was going to come back and I knew he was going to give me some bullshit on why he couldn't buy the house because he didn't know that I knew that house is already sold. The house is already sold. Um, and this is the part where I said, I'm going to be honest, even though it's going to make me look bad because most women in their right mind would have would have been like I'm out <laughs> and I didn't so um, sure enough he came home he didn't really say anything that day the next day I asked him about the house and he said my friend the realtor um, he was like I'm talking to him because something's going on with the interest rate and when he said that I felt so much relief because I knew that I had been prepared for he's gonna give you some bullshit so when he said there's something with the interest rate I said you know what if the inch this is literally what I said y'all if the interest rate isn't good then we shouldn't move there we should probably let this house go we should cancel whatever furniture we we ordered or you know appliances and let's just look for another house I said I would like to be moved before the end of the year I said I really don't want to be nine months pregnant moving into a house I would like I would like to be done with this before then and he was he the way I said it was so calm and he was like okay he was like I'm a call the friend the realtor and tell him I'm backing out of the house and I'm gonna see if I can get my earnest money back and I remember looking at him I was standing in the kitchen and I cocked my head to the side and I said okay get your earnest money back and let's find another house and so that's how that first house fell through so um fast forward I'm looking I keep looking at this to see how much time I have because you know they only give you 10 minutes so this is part five part six is coming up but um, subsequently what ends up happening the next week which is mid-june I was at work um, and I started cramping started bleeding um, and at this point my doctor I had just had an ultrasound earlier that day so I went to work because the ultrasound was was fine I went to work and the cramping and the bleeding started and I started crying because I, I kind of knew what was going on and um, my doctor had called me and told me that when they did the ultrasound they did not see a heartbeat so she was like this pregnancy is not going to be viable so I'm crying hysterical and now we're going to get into part six.